Good morning, everybody. Scott from Get Some Adventure. Say, today I'm going to be going through um, just a little design difference in the skid plate. We made a prototype out of steel. Uh, it's one-eighth inch steel that we bent up, drilled some holes in. Um, you can see it on one of my last videos when it was actually on the bike. Um, I've got the aluminum one now sitting next to, to the steel one, so we can kind of compare the two. Um, then we're going to put them um, back onto the bike here, the, the aluminum one, obviously. So here's, here's what we've come up with. This was the original steel one on the left. And then the right-hand side is the aluminum design. So pretty close to the same design. Um, obviously, I didn't paint or do anything with the steel one as it was just kind of a temporary um, temporary fix for the, you know, to protect the exhaust on the bottom side of the bike. Um, but if you look at the design, you know, same countersunk holes on both of them. Um, so they're flat and smooth. You know, nothing's going to get caught up um, or catch the bolts when it mounts to the bike. Um, so again, this this steel one here was the one that um, we designed in my buddy's machine shop. Um, actually, I think it, it offers a heck of a lot more protection than the aluminum, um, but is obviously a little bit heavier. You can look at look at both of them tipped up here. Again, this is the steel version of the skid plate and the aluminum one. So this one actually had incorporated a little bit extra protection um, for the left hand side of the engine. And I think the weight difference is, a, I would say, between six, six and eight pounds. I haven't weighed them um, on a scale or anything like that. But again, I mean, the steel is obviously going to be more protective, but it weighs a heck of a lot more. So we're going to put her back on. And uh, that's that's the latest update, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. I look forward to hearing from you.